scam that's become so normalized that we don't even realize it's a scam anymore. Fertility treatments in just under 50. Fertility treatments are a scam. IVF is a scam, okay? Um, go back and watch the last creator's video. It was so good and gave amazing, insightful information. This is something that I've been wanting to say for a while, okay? I've always said that freezing your eggs is, is a scam, it's a waste of money. Um, but IVF, because a lot of people are sensitive around this topic, I haven't really came on to say it, but I, I need to say it more. Because when your body is healthy, let me just say this, when your body is healthy, and void of reproductive health issues, void of, of you know, um, hormonal issues, you are going to be able to conceive. You're with ease. You're going because we were made to procreate. Not saying that we have to now. I'm talking to women who want to in this video. Okay. Here's the thing. You're you are not infertile. There's no such thing as infertility. There's there's such thing as we're having fertility issues, yes, due to our hormonal state, due to our digestive health, due to you know our lymphatic system, due to the toxic load in our body. But listen, here's the thing. The, you are infertile for a reason. It's not unexplained, because that's another thing they keep saying, unexplained, you know, fertility, infertility. There's no such thing. There's absolutely no such thing. And it's so important for you, if you're having issues with conceiving, you to get to the root cause of the issue. They love to just throw fertility treatments down women's throat as soon as they have, you know, a few months or a year of not being able to conceive instead of getting to the root cause of the issue, okay? Listen, the fertility industry is a multi-billion dollar industry. I want you to do your research. Do your research. Every year it goes up. It's a multi- We have 20-year-olds, 25-year-olds running to IVF in 2024 because so many women are having you know, um, fertility issues due to these reproductive health issues, due to, you know, our lifestyle, due to the diet, due to how we live our life. It's just so much that goes into it, right? So when you, again, this is why I always preach, make sure those hormones are in balance, make sure you're healthy. Make sure that, you know, if you're dealing with fibroids, PCOS, get to the root cause of the problem and heal the issue. Because if not, when, you know, it's time for you to conceive, when it's time for you to, you know, you know, want to conceive and have a baby, it's gonna, there's going to be some issues. There's going to be some issues. And even if you are able to get pregnant, number one, there's been an increase of recurrent miscarriages. And number two, you know, um, we don't want us to, you know, pass these same issues down along, you know, along to our babies, okay? We don't want to continuously pass these issues, you know, along to our babies, it's so important. Women don't understand that, listen, our wombs are literally give life. Our wombs create life. Our wombs are very powerful. You know, so when we are, again, are housing a baby in a toxic state, imbalanced hormones, right? With all of this toxicity, all of this waste, fibroids, this, we cannot expect to do that and there's not going to be an issue, right? Why do you think we have seven-year-olds that are having hormonal issues now? It's getting scary. People are telling me their seven-year-olds are literally having, you know, um, issues with, you know, hor their hormones, issues with BO at seven, at seven, right? Because what, what was the mother state? What was the mother state, right? A lot of women don't understand and know how to, you know, don't understand that their menstrual cycles are their body's vital signs, right? They don't know how to read their menstrual cycles. They don't know, understand what's normal, what's not. You still have women thinking that heavy bleeding, clots, cramping, brown blood is normal in 2024. They don't understand that these are issues, right? This is your body letting you know, listen, we have, you have to support the liver. You have to, like I said, balance the hormones because we're dealing with toxicity in the body. Instead of you taking those signs, you continue to let it go on for years and years and years. What woman that... It, what woman, you know, before she's trying to get pregnant, before, you know, is worried about her hormones? That's the issue, right? That's the issue. The fact that you're not thinking about your hormones until you all of a sudden have a fertility issue. You're late. You're late. What were you doing all those years that you were supposed to make sure that your body's in balance, right? You see what I'm saying? So they create the issue and then they, they, they present you with the cure, right? But guess what? Guess what? Guess what? What's going on now? The um, there's becoming issues with the IVF babies. They're having a whole bunch of health issues because again, we're passing that along, and we're already dealing with a bad hormonal state when we have, you know, when we're not able to conceive. We're already dealing with there's an underlying reason, right? So then we're we're getting pregnant in that state, and then you know, and infusing all these synthetic hormones. What do you guys think happens after that? You guys think that it doesn't make any sense? Listen, listen. 
You, your body is perfectly made. I need you to understand that. Your body is perfectly made. But listen, we, we, ha we have habits where we're getting in the way of our bodies, you know, our body doing its job. We're, de we're dealing with, we're living a lifestyle where we're getting in the way of our, our body doing its job. And this is why we're not able to conceive. This is why a lot of women are having fibroids. This is why a lot of women are having hormonal issues. This is why a lot of women are going through perimenopause, which is not supposed to be a thing when the body's healthy. So I say all that to say, listen, I get it's a scam. Fertility treatments is a scam. Get to the root cause of what's going on with you. And I'm so, get to the root cause of what's going on while your body's not able to conceive. What, what's going on? And it's not because you're 35, and it's not because you're 40, because guess what? Right? Fertility, it's not about age. It's, about, it's not about chronological age. It's about biological age. Okay? Let me just say this. I've helped many women over the age of 35, over the age of 40, get pregnant naturally. And a lot of those women were dealing with fertility issues for years prior. Okay? So listen, when you get to the root cause of the problem, balance the hormones, right? You know, improve your body's cellular health. Improve the lymphatic system, the digestive system. When you, again, when you're healthy, your body can conceive. Your body, you can have a baby, healthy baby. When your body's healthy, okay? I don't care what the doctors have told you. I don't care what they're saying because they're just making women more and more sick. This stuff is a scam. I understand what's going on in this world. I need you to wake up and open your eyes and do some research. Look how much the fertility industry is bringing in. IVF wasn't this popular 20, 30 years ago as it is now. People that are in their 20s and 30s, like it doesn't make any sense. Those women 20, 30, 30 years ago, Women in their 20s can have babies easily. Women, not anymore. Not anymore. It's getting scary. So, like, listen, okay? And I'm telling this for women that are interested. I want you to get on my email list. Come learn. Get on my lives, right? Come learn more because it doesn't make any sense. You're not infertile. You need to get to the root cause. You're dealing with a hormonal imbalance. You're dealing with toxicity in the body. There's underlying reasons for why you're infertile, okay? So if you're interested in learning more, I want you to hop on, on my email list. Hop on my email list. You can email me if you're having fertility issues. I've helped many women. I'm a holistic, I'm a holistic woman specialist. I've helped many women get pregnant naturally, okay? Get on my email list. Click the link in my bio. But stop. I, I don't want to see more and more women, women wasting their money, wasting their time in this fertility clinics, clinics that have literally a 32% success rate right after the age of 35. Let's talk about that. So... It doesn't make any sense. All this frustration, all this pain. Whew, I just have to get out of my trust. But listen, get on my email list, click the link in my bio. Stop settling for like having your body infused with synthetic hormones. All right? Bye.